And welcome to your gold market update and charts of the day with Mike Smith seeing the Arnold Skill Markets. It's Wednesday, the 29th of March, and let's have a look at what's happening in markets today. Overnight, we saw small losses in the US. The Nasdaq underperformed and closed off the lows of the session. We were down considerably more at mid session. Without any real impetus to push markets up or down with no data out, the two factors which may have contributed were bond yields were slightly higher. And indices are near key technical levels and probably need some more new and positive information to push them through that. For example, the S&P 500 is trading around 4,000. US futures are positive in early trading and Asian indices are ignoring that weaker US lead and posting mild gains so far. ASX is trading near neutral. Uh, did start to the downside, but has gradually moved up. European equity futures are pointing to a mildly higher open later this afternoon. And the VIX has edged lower, suggesting that market calm despite those small losses. It is below the 200 EMA and the 22 support, which we've referenced before. The US dollar index was weak again. It dropped back towards support despite that bond yield rise. Uh, we're seeing the Japanese yen down in Asia, which is interesting against a few pairs. Uh, gold is trading mid-range. It's below 2,000, but above 1950. And copper pulled back to remain range-bound in the short term. In the commodity space, always the outperformer move towards the top of the range. But there is EIA data out tonight. It'll be interesting to see if we have a similar build in supplies as we did last week. Bitcoin has paused at support near 28,000. And on the data front today, we've already had Australian inflation data lower than expectations. Later on, we've got the UK FPC report, US pending home sales out this evening on again a fairly quiet day for data but it's all going to focus on the pce data on friday a couple of charts that caught our eye today if we start by having a look at the aussie usd you can see this pullback that we've had in the asian session this morning on the back of that weaker than expected inflation data that's good news for australian consumers it may give the rba something to think about before they raise rates again Let's just put this into context and look on a daily chart just to check out where it is in the big picture. And you can see there we are essentially still range bound between these two levels here, around about 67 to the upside and around about 66 to the downside. So 100 pip range. And we've been in there for best part of two and a half weeks. So at this stage, one would suspect it might move down from there on that inflation news. With stocks, PLS are looking very strong. We referenced these yesterday and now we're seeing a follow through on yesterday's big move higher. We have breached the 200 EMA to the upside and look as though we could be up for a push towards 470 in the medium term. Uh, that would be a very healthy 16% return. There may be a pause here in the very short term, around about 6% to the upside, 429, 430. But nevertheless, one that looks very strong. It is trading towards the highs of the session so far. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.